Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Today we're going to be doing a video that I have not done before. And I said, you know what, let's do one of these because I do have a few products that I have emptied already. So I'm going to show you which ones they are and also if I will repurchase them. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe down to my channel. Hit that boring button so you guys can get notified every time I post a video for you guys. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys so i have been keeping a few products that i have been emptied out in this bag right here literally in this plastic bag and let you guys know if i will repurchase them or not now if you guys have purchased any of these that i'm going to show you guys comment down below because i would love to know so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the first product they're going to be some lashes i really finish lashes so quick you guys because at the job I work at, we have to wear lashes every day because I work in a makeup store in MAC. So I go through lashes so quick. As you guys can see, I only have literally like two left in one because I cut them in half. And these are the ones I'm actually wearing right now. I love, love, love these. Like literally, I have them in my makeup kit. I have them for me in my house. The first one I emptied is from Kiss and Jubilee. If you guys have never tried it, Please do yourself a favor and try it because these are amazing if you like that half lash on the corner of your eye instead of like the full lash. I can definitely save money when it comes to my half lashes. But also if I want to go in for like a full lash or if I just, you know, feel like wearing a half lash like I'm doing right now. They literally come in a pack of four. These are always going to be one of my favorite ones to repurchase. Now the second one I always use, I mean these are a lot of people's favorite i feel like these are like og in the ardell friend which is the demi wispies when i first got into makeup these were like my go-to because they're very subtle but they give you like you know wispiness look they're not like over dramatic empowering so if you start to put on lashes and you want that soft every day the demi wispies are gonna be really good for that these two are like my to go to so i will repurchase them they're so good so next is a foundation now i gotta say this is like my number one foundation that i purchased when i wanted to start purchasing like high brand makeup literally is empty i have no more you guys i go through these bottles so fast this foundation has a place in my heart this is the anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation and i love it you guys i love to wear it by itself or i love to mix it with the armani luminous foundation or sometimes if i really want a little bit of luminous in my matte foundation typically i use the studio fix fluid and i mix it a little bit of this one just to give me that luminous and more glowy look and i love it it does not make me oily obviously when i go out and like let's say i leave the house at nine and i come back at three in the morning yes i will be only in a couple of places like for example my t-zone area but other than that it says really good underneath any blush that you want to put any bronzer any setting spray so yeah if you've never tried this one definitely give it a try if you like that glowy luminous look because it is really good and no this is not the foundation i am wearing today in case you guys are wondering i am actually wearing the armani luminous silk one which is this one this is like my second top since we are talking about empty products this is the one i have always emptied out very quick because i love it so i will be repurchasing this one i definitely think it's worth the price hey guys so my fourth product is gonna be a concealer so i have tried this brand i've tried their primer and i've tried their setting spray and i've loved both of them actually their setting spray is here now that i'm talking about it yeah so funny but i'll get into this one after this one and let me tell you guys i love it it's literally almost empty i literally just have a little bit that i'm really saving for like okay i want to go out type of vibes if you really struggle to have like dryness underneath your eye make sure you use a really good moisturizing eye cream and then go in with a hydrating concealer and i love this one because it's very hydrating it does not crease under my eyes i love it if you use it as an everyday concealer 
make sure you have like a light handed because when you pump it definitely comes out a lot so a little bit goes a long way and yes i am using this concealer underneath my eyes today so as you guys can see it looks so freaking good you guys i love it i love it i love it so yes i will be repurchasing this so moving on to setting spray you guys i have a couple of them actually i go through those so quick literally so quick i always make sure i get the best setting spray i possibly can for it to last through my shit. The first one I'm gonna be talking about is the Mora setting spray. I really, really love this setting spray. It's very good for oil control. It does have that micro fine spray and it has retinol and hyaluronic acid and it really does because i love it i actually keep one for my kid i did not know about this product until i went to my makeup class and they told us about it and ever since then i'm obsessed with it you guys because it really makes my makeup stay while it gives me like hydration to my skin now the only thing is i love to soak myself into it actually with any setting spray because i feel like it just last longer i don't know maybe it's like a mental thing of mine but i really go heavy handed on my setting spray so i finished this one so quick so yes i will be repurchasing this but i love it if you are trying a setting spray and you want something that is long lasting but definitely hydrating then this will be it i love this one for everyday setting spray now on to the next setting spray it is from milk it is the milk makeup hydro grip set plus refresh spray let me just start saying the price yes it's a little pricey but it's definitely worth it because it will make your makeup last a very long time i actually used this one when i went to japan and i kid you not i literally was out in the morning we were out and about and then we came back to the very like late at night it made my makeup last a very long time and it did not make me look oily or like dry the only thing i will have to say is that the smell was not my favorite the smell i was like Ugh, but if you don't mind the smell it's a really good setting spray even though the price is a little more up in the price but i will definitely still be repurchasing this last but not least this is like an og i mean i've used this for forever you guys it's the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray long lasting it really does what it says i mean it's in the name it's an all-nighter makeup setting spray long lasting literally this is like the one that will always go back to because i trust this so much and i love it it definitely doesn't dry my skin either and it I will have no creasing throughout the night and if you have that one product that you will always go back to when it comes to setting spray this will be the one for me because I trust it so much but I always like to try different ones but this one is definitely a must repurchase for me okay so the next product I mean it doesn't really need more saying but is the Mac fix plus and I love this product you guys i use it so freaking much i literally buy like two bottles every time i love this product to refresh my skin i love to use it before i start my makeup i love to use it after you know i set my creams and also i love to, to use it just like throughout if i feel super dry or if i'm using a lot of powders and i really want like a refresh girl Give yourself a little fix plus and spray it and you're gonna feel that refreshness into your skin like your makeup is all over done again and i will definitely be repurchasing this okay you guys so now on to my drugstore purchases that i have emptied out now i talk about this all the time um and it's actually so damaged now that i need to go get a new one but this one is the elf holy hydration face cream so if you guys are looking for a moisturizer that is in the cheaper side but it does not give you like a white cast and it also has spf so there's times that i would forget to put my spf but then i remember i was like oh wait i use my elf i should be fine because it has spf so this is definitely going to be something i will definitely be repurchasing it because i loved it and you guys it lasted me for a very long time literally like ya no tengo 
it's so empty i literally have to go repurchase another one and yes i will be repurchasing it because it is super super good i used it even with full coverage foundation or with light to medium coverage and it worked perfect so another drugstore product that i will definitely be repurchasing is the wet and wild primer serum hydrating now this is my go-to when i feel really really dry those days especially in winter those are my super dry days so i definitely love to combine it with the good moisturizer which normally will be this one i like to use this hydrating one and then go in with my elf hydrating cream and also it gives you a little bit of glow to your skin it has a little bit of that luminous as you guys can see in the bottle it's really good for the price you guys like you cannot beat this so i would definitely recommend this because it is so good so yes i will be repurchasing this so another concealer that is my go-to concealer i love it for the price it's really good and also for the coverage it is such a full coverage concealer you guys for the price i mean you can't beat it the one i'm talking about is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish is definitely hydrating underneath your eyes sometimes i would forget to put my eye cream and i would just use this and it still look really hydrated underneath my eyes and i love it because it is a full coverage concealer now i've heard a lot of people they're like really i don't like it it's not full coverage to me so really the trick is to put it wherever you put your concealer let it sit for a minute literally you guys let it sit for a minute i know sometimes we're in a hurry and you're impatient you just want to blend it in literally give it a minute what i like to do to like speed up the process is i like to grab a little carton i literally this is the one i use this is the michaela glimlight one that would come with her collection and after i put my concealer i literally fan it because it speeds the process and then you blend it in and your concealer is going to be full coverage so definitely do that i will be repurchasing this because i love it it goes very well with any foundation i use and it's a full coverage concealer and i believe it's only like 12 dollars, so you can't beat that and also it's a sand finish so it's not super like glowy it's a sand finish to it so it still has a little bit of madness to it so i love it i actually purchased like three of these because when i go to buy them i can never find my shade and when i find it i'm like okay i take like three because i know i go so fast out of these like so fast you guys and the shade i like to use is light peach and i like to use light sand when i want like still for it to look like my skin but when i want it more brighter i like to use light peach so moving on to a drugstore setting spray now you guys this setting spray it is so freaking good it is the elf state all nighter micro fine setting spray it says up to 16 hour wear and it truly is for the price of it i can definitely say it's a dupe for this one yes this one works a lot longer than this one but you guys for every day or for if you're in a budget and you still want that really good product for a setting spray this is a must because it really does stay for a long period of time and plus it has a really fine mist it does not make my foundation dry it does not make my foundation cracky either so i will definitely be repurchasing this now when you use this though you do have to shake it up it has like a little ball inside so make sure you shake this product before you use it it is a lightweight makeup setting spray and it's infused with green tea cucumber and aloe so yes i will be repurchasing this okay you guys last but not least is a sunscreen this is actually a hybrid sunscreen but it is totally worth it you guys it's very worth it especially for summer but i'm talking about the super goop low screen spf 40 this is like my third bottle you guys i use these very fast and i love them the one thing i do gotta say is when you use them though if you're gonna use it underneath any foundation just make sure you don't put it underneath your eyes because i've had that experience that when you put it underneath your eyes it cracks with your concealer so just don't use it underneath your eyes but other than that i use it everywhere else and i love it because it gives me a glowiness to my skin and sometimes when i want to have no 
makeup makeup days i literally just go in with a hydrating serum a moisturizer and my sunscreen my super goop glow sunscreen a concealer and a little bit of blush a lip gloss and call it a day literally i know the price is a little pricey but like i said it's really worth it i will be repurchasing this one so as you guys can see i will be repurchasing all of them because i loved all of them but you guys let me know if you guys have tried any of these products if you guys have did you guys like them will you guys be repurchasing them but that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys